Hello everybody and welcome back to the Character Showcase. Today we're checking out an oldie but goldie. This is the deleted, the TM trainer character, but we are playing the hardest version of the deleted. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of this, but basically this guy can't pick up any health. For each negative effect we get off of an item, we gain half a soul heart. So you'll see that with Bitflip we can essentially uh, corrupt an item, which turns it into a TM trainer style item with positive and negative effects. And the negative effect will give us health, uh, but they can also be to our major death detriment so it's not as easy as just picking up negative effects and hoping for the best we, we are gonna have to be tactical about the items that we take what we corrupt what we don't corrupt all this sort of stuff um so on bomb usage use cleaver on 12 kills we get law um lawful until uh we leave the floor and we spawn six trinkets or first hit each room we lose bucket a large which we don't currently have so that's fine and we'll see what trinkets we have here Empty Vessel stores an extra heart that doesn't account against your Devil Deal chances. Amazing. And also, store credit here is pretty good, too. We also got what looks to be... Oh, it's a Hierophant card, isn't it? Okay. Empty Vessel here. This this heart thing is insanely, insanely good for this character. This actually allows us to hold red health. Um, so, as you can see, we've now got a red heart in this, which circumvents part of the challenge of this character. So, we've gotten pretty lucky off the bat here. Uh, the, pl the plus six trinkets there really... Uh, Really worked out quite well for us. If we find a shop as well, we can try and utilize that store credit. But yeah, as long as we can find consistent... Oh man, this is a horrible room. As long as we can find consistent red health, we can keep that f afloat, which is rather nice. Okay, good. Ow. Goddamn fuck you. Oh! I lost my red health already. Uh, right, so we got a bombable in here. On item, 36% chance to spawn 26 random monsters. Um, on boss kill... Wait, it says get D4. It doesn't say use D4. But on item, 36% chance to spawn 26 random monsters just makes that completely, unfortunately, useless for us. So. Even though I, I can't get items out of the, uh, thingies out of this uh, health, I could have gotten small rock. Hey, we got lawful. We actually showcased Lawful recently, so we know what that does. Basically, that's going to mean the entire floor gets aligned to one item pool, which could kind of be pretty interesting, I think. Yes, I will open that up straight away. I mean, in this situation, we got Genesis here, which Genesis is very intriguing for us, actually. Um, I could have corrupted that to see what I would have gotten, but honestly, I'm way more tempted to just take Genesis and try that out and see how it goes. That could be really, really wacky and pretty wonderful. Um, I'm, I'm curious. I'm very, very curious to see exactly how this ends up going. But basically, so what I'm thinking is if we get Genesis, then we can corrupt a ton of items and get exactly what we want out of corrupted items and get a ton of health in the process. I'm, I'm also, I'm, I'm not sure as well. I have like four lawfuls right now. Will all of those become an individual choice for us when it comes to picking out items in Genesis? Because if it does... We can get a lot of lawfuls here and uh, potentially do some interesting stuff. I mean, I could just use it now and test that theory, but I'm a little apprehensive to do so. I can't remember what actually causes us to spawn lawfuls now, but I could farm them. And we'll, we'll definitely be also just taking that. So we, we got... Uh, we got some good stuff on this floor. We got some very, very good stuff on this floor. Right. Um, let us go down to the next floor. So I think I'll lose all my lawfuls here. Oh, I have this, this the spin thingy on. I forgot I had that on. Um, yes, I lose all my lawfuls. But law lawful helps out an amazing amount there. We got two very, very, very good items from the angel pool. But obviously we could have corrupted them. But I thought, when items are this good... Shouldn't corrupt them. Okay, so it's definitely to do with killing enemies is why I'm getting lawfuls. I'm very, very tempted at the end of this floor to Genesis and just see how we go. Even though I'm I'm not entirely sure how it will work. Will, will, will my Genesis room be lawful as well? Will it all be from the same pool? Because that could, that could create some mighty intriguing shenanigans. But I am so willing to give it a go. Especially considering item pools don't matter that much when we're corrupting items. And yeah, I'm so, so curious to see if all of these items will count towards our Genesis, because that would be uh, rather entertaining. Rather entertaining indeed. We really need a red heart to fill up this uh, this old empty vessel trinket as well. I really would like to uh, change that over. 
I think I am going to do it at the end of this floor and just see Wagwan. Because it could be very entertaining. I do need to sneeze. <coughs> Apologies. I was going to pause, but I just didn't. I, I didn't know when it was coming. I didn't really have the time to pause. I do not like the idea of a room like this. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is some... This is some... I'm going to die. I actually... This this game, man. No. I'm just... I'm just... Just no. No. That room is some utter horseshit. Also, I now have half a heart for some reason. Get out of here, you. You, you fool. All right, I'm just continuing on this run, because that that room's just, just some, just some full-on bullshit. And I want to see where this goes. This is an interesting potential run. I want to see where this goes. I think it's the, the entertainment factor is what you guys are here for. You're not here to see a legit run. I mean, we're spawning stuff in all the time nowadays and stuff. It's, it's, it's all, it's all it is what it is, so... Let's just see where this goes, because I'm intrigued, and I know you are. Oh my god, he's so speedy. Okay, there's a key. We're looking for a key at the moment. That's good. Yeah, I don't know where all my soul hearts went when I rewinded, but... There you go. One second. All right, let's keep this party rolling. Let's keep this party rolling. Let's go quickly to our item room here, and see if we want to corrupt an item in here. I would very much like to to get some health back, especially if Red Hearts aren't going to be dropping for us. Um, on Genesis, 5% chance. Okay, each uh, each dice room, use a blank rune. Use the Hermit Reverse instead of dying once and get whatever that is. Okay, seems decent. We'll take that, we'll take that. Right, let's go and do some extra rooms here. We've now actually got a little bit of safety in that half heart, but it's not a lot. Just getting a lot of really... I, honestly, I think the, the sellers with the, with the old... The old B-based enemies, some of them can be just so goddamn rough. So rough. The B enemies are uh, treacherous. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do me with the stinger, please. Right, do I just want a Genesis now? Now, I'll walk into the boss room first and at least see if... Because if it's a boss that spawns adds, we could end up getting more lawfuls. So, I'm tempted to go and check that out first. But I think we did get an uh, angel pool again here. So, we could end up also getting a pretty good angel item. But, Genesis will end up removing those from us. So, eh. It is what it is. Yeah, this guy's good because he spawns stuff. So, we'll, we'll, we'll fight him for now. We shall not die to him, but we'll fight him. He spawns little dark balls on occasion. I don't know if he's going to. No, he doesn't seem e even remotely interested in doing so right now, which is a bit of a shame, but he has the potential chance to spawn stuff. No, he's just, just not asked at all. Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, yeah. Cool. And then we'll Genesis and see how this works, because this could be... Very, very wacky. So, item-wise here, nothing really... Uh, why is Bitflip now in my normal slot? Weird. Um, okay. On hit, spawn throwable bombs, spawn 10 pills, nah. Um, each boss room, minus shot speed. Get whatever they are, use two pills. Yeah, we'll take that one. And then here we've got this, which I think I'll just take. Is there anything else that's better, though? Yeah, I think I'll just take this, because that's good damage. Spawn an eternal chest in certain special rooms using a key on eternal chest. A 50% chance to conserve it. Items spawned from eternal chests will cycle between the original item and an item from the angel pool. That's pretty cool. Um... My goodness, there's a lot going on with that one. On 19 kills, ooh, get slugger until hit. I like that. This is the one we take. Thank you. We get just godhead there. Straight up godhead. I'll take that. Thank you. Um, 
on this one, get 17 flies, each room summon a crack the sky, uh, each room 25% chance to get fish heads, first hit lose whatever that is, that's not great, um, 37 kills lose 2 keys, that's not ideal either, that would kill us I'm pretty sure. So I think we just take this as is. Um, use pill. This is going to be a lot of reading here. But we're going to get something interesting, I hope. Uh, on soul heart, 5% chance to use a pill. Every 70 seconds, gain that. Every Upon going to the next floor, get the drum. These are no, no good either, really. Oh, man. Dead dove, I guess we'll take. <laughs> this, is, this is so wild. Every kill, 12% chance to spawn four grab bags. That's pretty amazing. Uh, first hit each room, 80% chance to lose 26 keys. No thank you. Each boss kill used, well, either that is, that'll do damage to us. That's not ideal. Um, minus shot speed. Got a chance to lose keys. Okay, again, that's not great. I guess we'll take purity here. We're, getting, we're just taking a lot of the items here, aren't we? Eden Soul. Each ultra secret room, we gain, on Rotten Heart, we gain damage, although I don't think we can pick up Rotten Hearts. Each room, 2% chance to use the Soul of Judas. Every 15 rooms spawn 8 cards. Every kill, 10% chance to spawn a Hopper. 6% chance to spawn a random Troll Bomb. I'll take that. And 70% chance to get whatever that fly is. Not ideal. Ooh, get two times Jesus juice. We lose some damage though. I'm gonna take that. I think that's fine. We got our crown back. I'll just be taking that. Thank you. Holy water. I've got to look at the negatives first more than anything. Plus luck. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that. That seems interesting. I just love how many of these items are angel items. This is so good. Um, the boot is actually fine for us, I think. Every kill, 5% chance to use... Ooh, that's kind of good. Magic fingers. Spawn bombs. Spawn throwable bombs. 4% chance to lose it. Yeah, that seems good. We'll take that. Spawn bomb beggars. Nah, that's not great. Boss kill, we get a tiny amount of tears. Um, we get Dr. Fetus for this. Every kill... 87% chance to spawn five troll bombs. That's not a great idea. Um, I think we'll just take the axe in this situation. The wafer would be pretty good to just take. We get tears. Spawn reroll machines. Every 60 seconds, 8% chance to spawn a shop item. Um, on reroll, spawn a monster. That's kind of okay. Spawn a grab bag. On 20 kills, okay, that's fine. Every 40 seconds, 90% chance to spawn 8 pills. I think we're going to take the reverse version of the wafer, maybe? Or should I just take the wafer? I'll just take the wafer, I think. The reverse version's scary. Ooh, Adam's Rib is a really good item here. Uh, let's see what we got going on. We lose 5 coins on going down. Uh, we gain damage, and we get temporary clover by the looks of it. Um, on hit 5% chance to get a broken heart's pretty risky. Uh, each boss kill use abyss on item gets that until hit. Okay, so we'll take we'll take that for the damage. I think. I don't know what item that is that uses every thirteen rooms. Upon going to the floor, get Guppy's head. First hit each room, get the black bombs. Every twelve rooms, summon a blue flame. Spawn eight basic batteries, and first hit each room, we lose damage. Twenty five percent chance to lose bombs. It's kind of tricky. think I'm just going to go with that. We spawned a shop item. Hello, hello. The white habanero is very, very good here. On hit, get sacred heart until the next floor. That's pretty goddamn good. Um, Spawn 16 coins. Ooh, this is really tricky. Get dice bombs. Chance to shoot a holy flame alongside... Okay, I'm going to go for the reverse version of that. That seems good. Here's holy mantle, which I think is probably going to be something we just take. Yeah. Ooh, what is, what is Mugen? Mugen's kind of interesting here. 
Summon a whirlpool. Spawn two shop items. Give us some tears. That's pretty good. Lose holy mantle. Ain't no way. Um, on boss kill, use whatever that stick is. Every 30 seconds, use whatever that is. I would lose way first. So, so these two are just completely unusable. I guess I'll go with this one. Um, we got holy bombs here. Pretty interesting. Okay. That doesn't matter. Ooh, we get some damage every floor. That's nice. All of these are kind of met as well. Star of Bethlehem, I think I'll just take. Lose three keys is fine. Uses your spin down dice. Spawn four holy poops. Every kill, 9% chance to get Book of Virtues until hit. Spawn two mega clotties, no thank you. Each room spawn a magic, uh, random monster. We're not getting the greatest stuff here, to be honest. We're really not. I'll take the old bell. Okay, so we didn't actually end up getting a crazy amount of stuff there, which is a bit of a shame. But I think we've set ourselves up nicely for a potentially good run. A run that should have been cursed to not exist, but we'll do it. Oh, we still get our lawfuls as well. It didn't actually remove our cursed items, which is pretty interesting. Um, we'll take our bit flip back, thank you. I don't know why it's not in the pocket slot anymore, I'll be honest, but thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> this is the sort of shenanigans you can get into as this character. These are the sort of shenanigans that you can get into. They are wild and they are wonderful. We have an amazing godhead, holy mantle, craziness run. That's now got saw blades mixed in as well. Man. How can you deny the beauty of this run? It is something to truly behold. And also, Leviathan? There's, there's the whirlpool. <laughs> also, we're getting more lawfuls, which I don't know how they're helping, but they probably are. Eucharist. Dude, do we just have permanent lawful angel deal? Is that just what we've got going on right now. Um, I think I'm going to take that. Oh, hello. Luckily, you were easy to kill. <laughs> My goodness. I love how crazy this is. Whoa, I'm excited doing shenanigans. The godhead on this is so good. We keep getting more and more lawfuls as well. Lawful basically summoned all of this. Just from having lawful all of this began. Sorry, Mozzie. Blood of the Martyr for damage. I would rather not get troll bombs there. Thank you. Right, next floor. We've got a lot of sour patches here as well, which is uh, pretty intriguing. Our stats are looking... Wild as hell. Oh my goodness. Thank you for that back. We have a lot of cards going on here. We got a good old moon card. Why not? Um, 1% chance to lose one money. Ooh. I like it. I like it. I'll take that. Oh my god. That's a lot of rubber cements. And we get a magic mush as well. Yep. We'll just take magic mush. Thank you. The, the boss room is open for some unknown reason. Yeah, why not? I don't even know how you died. I'm excited. It's going wild right now. <laughs> All the rubber cements. Look at them spawn. We get so many of them. <gasps> my holy mantle. It's my first time using it. Losing it even. The good thing is we've got a lot of items that are temporary until we get hit. But we never get hit now. I guess we'll take Golem's Orb. Why not? Where art thou, bossy boss? I don't even know what happened in that room. We got one of these rainbow hearts here. Tower. No thank you on the tower. I'm just beelining it for the boss if I can now. I think I've passed it. I think it was back that way. I think I've just... Messed up and gone the wrong way here, but I'll, I'll see. The, these having herming on the saw blades is an interesting combination. There's a bunch more. 
cards. Invested. Guess I'll just take that one. Invested. Yeah, unfortunately, that one room way back there that I didn't fucking go to. Sadly, was it. By the way, if you're wondering why we got so much damage, those Sour Patch things are giving us damage literally every single time that we uh, that we get one. And it just keeps stacking up and stacking up and stacking up and stacking up. It's 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 a wonderful thing to see. I should have been following the star the whole time. I'm stupid. I didn't even think to follow the star. I don't even know if this will work, but I'll take it. Perfection seems fun. This, this for some reason costs now. I'm a little perturbed by that. They both cost. How dare they? I'm going to take that one. Because it gave us plus one tiers, which I think is pretty goddamn good. It's a little, little overpriced for the health cost, but we in it now. The start of every room is so goddamn scary. It's unbelievable that how this character can go. If you like, it's just that that one room that I died in at the start. It's just it just goes to show like the the potential that a run has if it's not for some BS like that. Why not? And I, I guess I like to do that on YouTube videos every now and again. If if I die in some really poopy way and I'm on a really cool run I'd much much rather you guys see the potential of that run come to fruition in an unrealistic manner than just start a new run or scrap the recording and start again sort of thing. I hope you guys do agree with that. I, I, I've mentioned it before and I've, it seems like most of you do agree with that um, We could go with that uh I, I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm more attuned with regular Godhead, but that is that is a pretty fun one. I think I'm gonna take it. I think we do lose Herming for that though. We gain Seraphim, but that just looks gnarly, right? That just looks gnarly. Just a quick 118 damage. Yes, there you go. The Holy Light Beams. I'm excited. It's actually good for us at the moment. Speeds about what ability to pass through rooms. Oh man, those light beams are uh, going wild. They are affecting our own our own friends right now, which is slightly concerning. But they don't seem to be taking damage to it, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. How are you alive? How is anything going to live through this? Can't fathom it. Hey, here's our boss. <laughs> My god. Nothing can survive this anymore. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. My bad. I would like that item, thank you. Um, I don't know what happened to the item, but I seem to have... I seem to have eaten it with my, with my, with my beam. I fired my beam at it and it just kind of vanished. So I'm not particularly sure about that, but hey, her. 160 damage. That damage is going to keep climbing, baby. But yeah, I've got to keep taking items to make sure I've got, like, stay on top of my healing. It now. Every five rooms spawn two times around a monster. It's a bit tricky, a bit scary, but I think overall we'll be fine. Especially considering the, like, most rooms kind of get completely and utterly covered in whatever we're firing. You feel refreshed? Thank you. Oh, hello, Chub. Would like to get to know you. There is a red stew there, which I'm actually pretty tempted to grab. So I'm just going to quickly go back and grab some of the money that I saw previously. There you go. Don't know where that money came from, but I will take it. Grab off the red stew. There's one of these rooms that's just like silly. 
Like, look at how crazily powerful we are. And still yet, we can't just get through this room quickly. I don't even know what's happening. There's a lot of light beams going off there. This is a run that would probably be a little laggy otherwise. The whirlpools on occasion, I love it. Thanks, Mum. That's... Holy shit. That's seven luck pennies. That was a lot of luck. And these don't cost a thing, either. Don't know why? Ah, we've got some sort of thing that flips the way Devil Deals and Angel Deals are. That's why the Angel Deals costed. Because they're technically the work the same way Devil Deals work now, and it's all sorts of weirdness. Do you know what I've not been doing? Oh, dude. I've just messed up super heavily. I, I came down here bit flipped, so now my bit flip is gone. Well, unfortunately, bit flip is gone now. We are we are stuck in bit flip mode, which is not a bad thing. It's still a bit bit weird. A little bit peculiar, I'll definitely say that. Dude, imagine doing Genesis now <laughs> with all of these items. That would be that would take forever. We would be sat there for a very very long time. That's why I wanted to use it early on. Because I just didn't want to be there. Like, we, we took a while that time around. I don't want to be there for literally forever. I wonder why we're getting all these uh, these friends from. That seem to be seemingly invincible. I don't know if they keep respawning. Or if they just don't die. I'm not entirely sure which way around it is. It's very hard to keep track of what's going on with the rooms now that they look... So strange. The large rooms especially get very confusing. The sheer size. The sheer size of our shots. Just hits everything in the room. Hello boss. And Chubb. Who keeps randomly showing up for unknown reasons. That's a, that, that, that's a rather large meteor right there. I... Yeah, I'm just going to have to leave because those meteors are, are making things... Rather insane. You got a random dry baby here. I don't know what the negative effect I picked up from him was. Uh, we could have got something that's going to ruin the run. At this point, though, I think it's okay. I think we've proven our point with how powerful this is. If we die, we die. Man, I'm, I'm loving the saw blades plus... Uh, the re like reversed godhead, whatever you want to call it, the tainted godhead. I like the mapping here. That's very nice. The, m the amount of damage just keeps going up. And we get some batteries for defeating the boss as well. Chill out. I didn't even mean to go up there. I just wanted to grab whatever money that was, but... What the heck? What the heck? I'm just taking everything now, because why not? <laughs> it's the rubber cements, I think, that are making it even more wacky. Right, boss, unfortunately, we don't know right now, do we? Let me through, let me through, let me through. Lots of invincible enemies making our life more troublesome than it has to be. Ah ha ha! You're gonna spawn a light beam? No 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 no! I am the keeper of the light beam. But yeah, you you guys can actually see as well what my FPS would look like um, on a like a, if I wasn't using the scaling thing for you guys. We would be having a hard time with these rooms. Let me tell you. Ooh, a sun card. Yes, please. Thank you. Grab that for the extra health. Oh my god, the meters. As soon as the meters start falling, it's a bit hard to keep track. We're popping random sun cards on occasion. Don't know why. I'm down with it.
Isaac? I didn't, I didn't even realize we were on this floor. I was like, why is Isaac there? But then I realized we are we are on this floor. It's just visually warped. That's that's a lot of chests. So I think at this stage, I'm going to take every single one of these and see if it kills me. Don't know what happened there. Don't know how to escape this hellhole either. I did manage to get out of that room somehow. The meat is, man. The fucking meat is. Yeah, I don't think he's surviving just because of those dudes. Let's troll bomb, buddy. Go away. Why do I have this little jello boy pissing around? Also, items keep randomly getting deleted, and I don't know why. I just want to pick them up. Okay. Apparently, I can no longer pick up items, so it is what it is. Now, we're just going to keep going and hope for the best. I, I did get hit there. Yet again, not entirely sure by what. Whenever I get hit, though, I seem to spawn... An unending amount of saw blades. Look at my look at look at my uh, items. Uh, my my tracker on the left for my stats. It is getting warped to hell. How am I not through the door yet? There you go. So yeah, just don't get hit, because otherwise, shit starts to really hit the fan. So Lilith, why not? Thank you. I'm not even firing at this point. This is just all happening. Firing is a dangerous game now. <laughs> I managed to pick up an active item that I don't recognize from somewhere. Whoa, we got a lot of items out of that guy. There's a hell of a lot of items in this room. I don't know what's happening. Why are these items flipping between things? I don't understand. Thank you. <laughs> I just, I think trying to, trying to see logic in what's happening is a, is a fool's errand right now. Just let me out this door. I don't even know where the door is, but let me out the door. So much shit is happening. I insta-killed him. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was an absolute insane run that shouldn't have existed, but we made it exist. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.